Morning. What did you learn this week? How was your week? Was it good? Um, here's a review of the things that I've covered this past week, a quick look at what's coming up, and some other things that I picked up in the past couple of weeks. So this week, this past week, um, we started off covering visual management systems. I spoke specifically about safety metrics and how we might consider changing the way we measure our safety performance at work. And then I focused on product productivity and delivery. On Thursday, I shared October's theme, which is connecting. And I spoke a little bit about the integral leadership model. Then on Friday, I had to confront a personal demon of the weight that I've gained during COVID-19. Uh, and I shared my decision to do something about it. And I asked for your help in holding me accountable to that plan. Then on Saturday, I shared a travel update that really focused on canceled cruises and on the hope for the future because of this pent up travel demand that we're all experiencing right now. Coming up, I'm getting into the outline of my book, High Speed Problem Solving. I'll also do my best to make sure that these problem solving concepts connect with the leadership theme for October for me, which is connect. Other things that I've been burning time on in the past couple of weeks, I was very excited to be invited to speak at the Lean Coaching Summit next August by Lean Frontiers. So I've been invited to do a 90 minute breakout session where I'm gonna focus on coaching leaders through the deployment of visual management systems. The stuff that I've been doing with a couple of clients here lately. I've asked also to do a day long pre-conference workshop on coaching for high speed problem solving kind of consistent with the book that I'm writing. I'm also reviewing a new book called CEO Coaching by Kazu Hizano. I heard about this from Norman Bodek. Kazu is an incredibly successful CEO coach, so I have high hopes for this book. Now, Norman founded Productivity Inc. back in the 80s, and he published English translations of all these works from these Japanese productivity experts like Taiichi Ono and Shigeo Shingo. He essentially gave us our lean thinking canon of work before he sold productivity and got into other things. He's never stopped. He's like 84 years old and he still thinks he's a kid. It's great. Norman has also opened up his library, everything that he's collected over the decades that he's been doing this. And he's creating these uh, library study groups who's gonna, who are gonna work through certain articles in that library and have small group discussions about what's going on and, and what kind of key lessons they can pull out of these wonderful classic works. He's asked me to facilitate a couple of those groups, so I'm looking forward to getting that off the ground and getting going. I'm also reviewing a book from my friend Brian Patterson. He has written a book called Connect and Lead, which focuses on applications of choice theory of leadership. So I'm looking forward to getting into that and getting him some feedback and, and posting a review of that. Uh, <clears throat> It's in its final editing stage, so it should be available for the end of the year. And I pr it promises to be pretty good from what I've seen so far. Uh, I also got a note from an old colleague at the University of Kentucky, Kozo Saito. And from him, I learned that they've published Fujio Cho's legacy lecture notes. And it's available. I've got to figure out exactly where. Uh, Fujio Cho was the president of Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky in the late 80s and through the 90s. And he went on to become chairman of the Toyota Motor Company. I expect some fantastic tidbits of wisdom to come out of these notes. I'm look, really looking forward to getting into those. One of the more exciting things I'm learning about is something called quantum profit science. And it's a different way to look at scheduling production in any work system that's focused on scheduling profit instead of scheduling inventory or orders. A little different way of thinking about it. What I've learned so far is that if we can get away from the constraints of most current systems and we set profit as a fixed and required output we can then design a schedule that makes the most profitable balanced schedule increasing our on-time deliveries reducing costs and improving operations now i've read about lots of things that try to do this but this is the only one that really kind of puts some meat behind it now most importantly it focuses on what is the truth about what we're doing uh, you see, most of our accounting systems today allow us the leeway to manipulate the numbers depending on who we're trying to impress. Like we can create a report that shows better productivity for the chief operating officer. We can create a report that shows financial strength for bankers if we want to try to get loans and financing. And if we want to try to minimize our tax, 
we can prepare financial reports that show financial weakness for the IRS. This system, this quantum profit system, it delivers an unmanipulated truth. And from that, you can make better decisions. It might not be great for external reporting, but if you want to make better decisions about the work that you're doing, this is probably going to be a system that will work for you. In one example that I've seen, a company was able to reach the same level of profit by producing less than half of the previously required output. So there's real potential here, and as I learn more about it, I'll be sharing more about that with some of my clients where I think it's going to make a huge difference for them. So stand by. Uh, it's also extremely affordable, uh, and it gets set up in just a couple of months instead of the year-long implementation that certain other IT programs require. Uh, I am really looking forward to getting into this because I think it's going to make a huge difference for an awful lot of people. This is pretty promising, pretty exciting stuff. Um, all these books, all this other stuff, I'm not sure I know how I'm going to get it all done, but that's going to keep me going for at least a few more weeks. All right, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.